Hey everyone, just a heads up that I'm gonna be posting a video about my trip to Chicago, which was in December and January of this past year. So this was a couple months ago. So number one, it's not recent. And number two, it, I, this was before I had this YouTube channel. So most of the videos are vertical, not horizontal, because it wasn't originally intended for YouTube. But I created this YouTube channel not only to share with everyone else, but also as a way to like hold on to my travel memories in a visually video scrapbook kind of way. So that's why I'm posting it because I wanna be able to look back on my uh, travels in a curated way. I'm not gonna go all the way back to my old travels, but I figure New York, Chicago, and the rest of the US, like it was just before I started this channel. So just a heads up, thanks. <laughs> Hi everyone, thanks for tuning in to my video about Chicago. Um, so this past December, Ben and I took a trip to the US from Australia to not only spend Thanksgiving and Christmas with family, but also it was Ben's first trip to the US. So I wanted to make sure that we set aside time to show him around, which is what, exactly what we did. Chicago is my all time favorite city. I lived here in my twenties and I wanted him to experience it. So this is the hotel we stayed at. This is Stay Pineapple. I highly, highly recommend. We basically chose it. <laughs> I mean, pretty much just because of price, like it was affordable. That's basically the only reason why, but it was way nicer than we expected. Like we thought it was just gonna be a place to stay, but it was great. There's pineapples everywhere. It was very cute, flirty, fun, you know the drill. Um, they also left us little gifts, which was like so, so sweet, chocolates, chips, etc. And then as you can see, we look out onto State Street. Great location, there's the Chicago sign in the background. It was also very close to Chris Kindle Mart. Um, thank God for that, because once we got our bags and settled in, we went straight there. And you know I got myself some mulled wine, as you can see here. So, so yum. Also, Chicago is very cold, if you know anything about Chicago in winter. But it warmed my heart, you know? Look, Ben got one too, bless him, he's so cute. We went sightseeing, Art Institute, Meg Mile, and of course the Palmer House. We also went to the Walnut Room inside Macy's. If you know anything about Chicago, that is the spot. We tried to go see the Bean, but it was closed for construction, so that threw the fence holes. But luckily, we walked around, there was beautiful ice skaters and great views of the Bean from Cindy's. I wish you could hear this audio, but this is a street performer performing Frank Sinatra, but like Chicago style, but I can't play it because of copyright issues. Just trust me, it was really good, okay? Um, then we went up to the Chicago Athletic Center. This is called Cindy's. It's such a good view, good cocktail. So it's a little bit expensive. I'm not even gonna lie, but it's like my number one spot that I always take visitors to go to. If you get the chance, go here. And because we are crazy people, even though we already walked 30,000 steps that day, we thought, oh, let's just do another 10,000. We decided to walk along the river walk as well. It's got really good views of Chicago architecture. Chicago architecture is actually so, so good, so underrated, highly recommend. Later that night, we wanted to go to Zoo Lights in Lincoln Park, which is basically just like a Christmas lights show at the zoo. It's free or $5. It's cheap. It's fun. Our night ended with Cafe Barbariba in Lincoln Park for Spanish tapas and cocktails, but we got a little bit drunky. So the next morning, we were dusty, needed that coffee and donuts and popcorn and and empanadas and pie and burgers and another burger, I guess. I don't know, we ate a lot of food. Chicago has great food. Speaking of, this is Girl on the Goat. It's in the West Loop. West Loop is known for good food. I know the cocktail looks a little weird, but I promise it's good. I don't even remember what it was. It was a lot of like greens and herb and matcha. Then we walked home. It was only like a 40 minute walk home. Again, we had to get more steps because we're insane. Before the next morning, we went to the Lincoln Park Conservatory. It's basically a free plant conservatory exactly what it sounds like but it was really fun peaceful and relaxing again after too many cocktails sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do we were bracing ourselves up for another walking day as you do and um, we wanted to start our day off with some greenery like a lot of greenery by the way I hope this microphone thing is okay this is the first time I'm trying a voiceover um, I thought I'd try with this like experimental video so this is annoying I am sorry Anyways, we went to Wrigley Field before going down south to the Shedd Aquarium. If you haven't gone to the Shedd Aquarium before in Chicago, definitely go. I love aquariums. I don't know why, I just love them. But the Shedd in particular, it, it's really good. And it's a great place to catch up with a friend like Courtney and take some cute couple pics. Oh, so sweet. As expected, we had another full day of like 40,000 steps. So we had to beef up and go to Time Out Market Chicago. So they have these like Time Out Markets in quite a few cities, New York, Lisbon, like you name it. And it's just like a bunch of food stalls. It's really good. For our last day, we went to Kasama for the famous breakfast sandwich made famous by the bear and saw the sites, AKA the sites in question is a shit fountain before going down to the Museum of Science and Industry. If you've never been, again, I also recommend it. They have a literal submarine in the basement. It's the craziest thing. After that, we went up to London House Chicago, another one of my favorite views of the city. They had like a Christmas installation. It's very, very cute. 
before getting drinks at Three Dots and a Dash in River North. It's just like a cute tiki bar. And that is basically Chicago in a wrap. So thanks for coming along. And I hope this voiceover wasn't horrible. Bye. See you next time. Thanks for watching.